President Joe Biden ran his presidential campaign on the underlying promise that he would be an entirely different leader than Donald Trump. In keeping with that, following his January 20 inauguration, Biden's administration has been unraveling Trump's policies. Since he took office, Biden has signed more than 40 executive orders and actions with focuses ranging from healthcare to the economy. Some orders, like the reversal of Trump's ban on transgender people joining the military, undid work from the previous administration. Many others relating to the coronavirus are exclusive to advancing the goals of the new administration. Biden's slew of executive orders has been met with pushback from conservatives, against both the number of orders issued and the president's past quotes about them. For instance, both Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Fox News personality Sean Hannity have misquoted Biden in trying to use his own words against him. The incorrect quotation has been picked up in viral social media posts that also compare executive orders among Biden and his predecessors. One Facebook post shows a graphic of the last five presidents and how many executive orders they signed during their first week in office, which for each would be January 20-27. At the bottom is a quote attributed to Biden, you can't legislate by executive order unless you're a dictator. A similar post says Biden signed 37 executive orders in his first week, Barack Obama signed nine and Trump signed five. There is also a quote attributed to Biden that reads, only a dictator legislates through executive orders. USA Today has reached out to both users for comment. Let's look into both the numbers and the quote in question. Biden has now signed more than 40 executive orders, actions and memorandums, each of which has a different power and purpose, during his first few weeks in office. Of those, 29 are executive orders, according to the Federal Register. Social media posts about the number of executive orders signed by Biden in his first week vary. For example, this post says he signed 32, while this one says he signed 37. The first post, which cites NBC News as its source, compares Biden's orders to four past presidents, the second post only includes totals for Obama and Trump. In their first week in office, Trump signed five orders, Obama signed five, George W. Bush signed zero and Bill Clinton signed zero. In Biden's first week, he signed 24 executive orders, all according to the Federal Register. The Federal Register publishes regulations, proposed rules and notices of interest to the public every weekday. On top of Biden's 29 orders, he has signed 14 proclamations and memorandums, bringing the grand total of executive actions to 43 as of February 8. Both posts were slightly off in their final tallies of executive orders signed by Biden and other former presidents in their first week in office.